Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Pray in Tongues. I'm here today to share some encouraging words for the Bride of Christ that are watching and waiting for His return. We are now in um, the Jewish New Year, which is also known as Rosh Hashanah, and uh, this is also known as the Feast of Trumpets. It is one of the uh, first fall feasts, and it is the next one in line to be fulfilled by the return of Yeshua. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blow my shofar, and you see my dog here? I hope I don't give her a heart attack, um, but she might start howling because they like to sing along with um, my shofar when I blow it. It is a real shofar. It is certified kosher. It is from Israel. And I bought this from Amazon.com. It was the best price that I could find. So, Mitzi, you ready? I'm going to blow my horn. So that's my shofar, and I'm going to watch for the new moon, and if I see it, I am going to blow my shofar too. So, um, the words of encouragement I want to give you, I got from the word of the Lord. He showed me when I was in prayer, um, not quite a week ago, that he gave me this, and I've just been reading it over and over and sharing it with others, because it really gives me a lot of encouragement that... Um, the Lord wants us to be ready for Him. I haven't gotten any um, I haven't gotten any visions recently, and um, but that's okay. I think the Lord is trying to show me to be still, because um, I've been hearing Him nudging me, and um, when you follow His nudging, He really leads you to discoveries about yourself, about him, about his goodness. And I think what he's doing um, and not giving a lot of us any visions is because he wants us to hear him. Because when he speaks, we'll know it's from him. So the first um, encouraging verse I want to give you is Jeremiah 33, 11. It says, The voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, the voice of them that shall say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy endureth forever, and of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord, for I will cause to return the captivity of the land as at the first, saith the Lord. I looked up captivity, because to me that sounds like um, a hostage or a prisoner and I use my strongs and what it means is a former state of prosperity so the Lord is going to return the land as it was at the beginning and that's what it means as at the first it's going to be as before time at the very beginning so it's going to be like the Garden of Eden it's going to be um, beautiful, it's going to be um, prosperous, it's going to be um, better than any place on earth because it is God's total creation. And then the other verse is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2. This one I got when I was in Wednesday night service and the pastor was reading from um, chapter 10. And I just felt my eyes just shift over my Bible right on this verse, and I'm just thinking, wow, that's really amazing. I never heard of this verse either. I don't remember reading it before, even though, um, you know, I've read the chapters. It just wasn't marked until I recently marked it, so um, it's up here, in, oops, up here in the pink that I marked it. And this is 
Second uh, Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. When I saw that verse, I was just like, wow. It's like, I really think that very soon the Lord Jesus, Yeshua, HaMashiach, is going to appear soon in the clouds. When all this stuff happened in the Middle East three days ago, the, um, the turmoil, you know, like the last year, was the autumn, I mean, I'm sorry, the Arab Spring, and it was like one country, then the next country, it was like one at a time, it just kind of went through, but now it's just like it went whoosh, like it's all in fire, just all these fires burning everywhere, all these people are just so filled with hate, they're, um, they want to kill, they have blood on their hands, and it's just amazing me. And I know Israel, the country itself, must be really a little worried about the how that climate of um, how it's changed in that area. You know, they're always kind of on their toes. But to see this just kind of uh, coming up so violently around them, I'm sure the military is at the ready. Maybe the people are, you know, really, you know, trying to keep their focus on their their feast that they're going to um, honor, you know, the Feast of Trumpets. And it's just really a, I don't know how to describe it. It's like um, something's going to happen. That's all I can think of. Something's going to happen, and uh, we have to be ready. So... So I know I am. I've been praying, reading the word, um, just watching for the changes that are coming on in those other countries. And right now, Jerusalem, they're 10 hours ahead of us, Pacific time. So they're already um, like in the very early morning right now. It's 5 o'clock p.m. Saturday here in the United States. So they are um, seven. So it's like three o'clock in the morning over there. So I don't know if they saw the show far this past evening. Um, maybe they'll see it tonight. So we'll just watch and see what the Lord's going to do. And um, I hope you were encouraged by these verses. I am very encouraged because I am ready for Jesus to come. And if it doesn't happen, well, we just don't know when. You know, it could be this weekend or, I don't know, next year. Who knows? Maybe there's still a lot more things that the Lord wants to do before He comes. Maybe He wants more souls to come. But we, but we have to be ready. So that's all I have. God bless you. And um, look at her. She went right back to sleep. My poor little Mitzi. God bless you. Take care. And... Um, Maybe I'll be back. I don't know. Take care. Bye.